I hope that you come back soon, that you are always welcome. And it seems like we are not going into the water, although we thought about it. <laughs> Here is the other sea Davina. Yes, she's getting us all the way there. So, we are back on board now, and the timing's pretty good. It's like, what, a couple hours before all aboard, uh, which I usually like to be back at least an hour before all aboard anyways. Hot tub's got some space in it, which is nice, that one at least. Maybe I'll do that later. I'm also a bit overdue for food, so let me see if I can grab some lunch. I had never noticed the heads of these lounge chairs come up so you can, um, what, what would I say? I mean, you can cover your head if you're uh, out in the sun. Make sure your head is covered from sunlight if you're tanning and the rest of you or something like that. Check out that amazing looking boat making some moves out there. It does seem like this is the, the sun and less rain island and the, the warm island. So that's something, something to said for that, absolutely. Here's my pizza and pasta. And then I got some veggies, pork stuff, um, sweet potatoes, some soup, try to eat a little bit healthier. But the pizza, <laughs> I mean, pizza's the first thing I see, you know? So then I come across this, I'm like, oh, I should try some new things. Just sitting here now, enjoying more of the view. It really has beautiful sights of Tenerife. And I'm so glad we had a chance to stop off and enjoy it. Think about the hot tub again, because it's never a bad idea, right? Good way to decompress after the day. Take a look at the beautiful view of the hillside from the outdoor pool area here. We've got a few people in these ones, so I'm gonna check on some of the others, like the ones right in here, and we'll see. And you can see some of the games and activities we've missed thus far. They're doing a ring toss, that's fun. And view from the other side, too. I found another set of hot tubs up here. If you take a look at this, that's amazing. And look at this view from up this way. That's beautiful, love to see Tenerife from up here. Glad we were catching this one. It's just above those other regular pools, so every time it seems like I find a new one, which is nice. All right, y'all, stepping in the hot tub with the beautiful views of Tenerife behind me with like half an hour tall aboard. It seems like the perfect place to enjoy the end of Tenerife time, indeed. If you look inside there, maybe you can see, oh, somebody's uh, heading out, it seems like. Oh, and there goes my hot tub. But there's a little elevator in there. You can see those gold lines in there. Yeah, I think you can. And I'm curious which uh, cruise ship is sailing away here. Who knows? It's not the greatest view of Nata, but it's still not bad. You get the jets back on. We're sorted. All right, y'all. We've got helicopter going over by, sounds like. But just got out of the hot tub up here, the sneaky one. The latest sneaky one. Nice to enjoy some lukewarm water and some beautiful views. See if I can shower up, get changed here for the evening. What a beautiful place though. So glad we had a chance to experience it. Had such a blast. Thanks Tenerife, another fun stop. Now back to the East Coast. All right, so now looking out at Tenerife one more time as the sun is setting more so. We've had our all aboard. I think I'm gonna have another cup of tea. Just came up here for some nice sights and for some tea. Enjoy some leisurely fresh air and all that. And I'm glad we had a chance to visit Tenerife yet again. Thank you, Tenerife, for the laughs. It is the sort of place you might need a shuttle to get from the uh, from the cruise ship, but I guess there are shops along the way in case you want to take a nice slow stroll. Cool to see that opera house back that way. Yeah, it's a cool spot indeed. <laughs> All right, y'all, here's one more peek at Tenerife. I keep grabbing cups of tea and then chatting with people, not really getting anywhere, and then grabbing more cups of tea. Are we moving? Uh, I'm not quite sure. We might be moving. Um, you know, I don't think we are yet, but I think we'll be moving any moment. So I'd love to grab the daily program just to take a look, see what we're doing today. What might be interesting for the next hour and a half before maybe showtime. Uh, and also, uh, maybe sit out on the deck and uh, watch the sail away. So I think I'll try to find programs for today and tomorrow. And we'll enjoy those while we look at um, the sail away. All right, my friends, this is my seat, my bench here. We'll, we'll watch the sail away and look over our daily program. What an evening. And then we've got sailing for six days ahead. We are moving, y'all. Say goodbye to Tenerife as it sails away from behind us here. And hello to the beginning of six days at sea. The longest I have ever been at sea. Hello, shoes. Longest I've ever been at sea. 
coming up starting uh, tomorrow. So whenever the video comes out, maybe a few days for you. But I hope you enjoy six days at SE Blog. We'll see how it goes. How will it be working from it? What sort of activities will I get up to in my off time? Just changing the schedule from a, uh, you know, working more in the evenings to working in the mornings again. <laughs> What's that gonna be like? We'll see, you'll see it real soon. Next up here, maybe I'll go to the MSC shop. I'm supposed to have some specials tonight. Uh, maybe I'll see the theater show. And then maybe I'll go grab dinner. So oh, here is our goodbye to Europe. Thanks Europe, it's been so fun. And been quite a short time, I must say. Learned all kinds of things about you. Uh, so much more informed about staying in Europe than I was last time, uh, after I came to visit last time. Uh, it was really nice last time too. Uh, but it's so, so glad to get this perspective. See so many different places. Take your frontal look and let's continue. I learned a lot about paid toilets. <laughs> I learned about the differences in food quality, you know, and the different sites you can see in different countries. I mean, I loved the sites in Switzerland, the food and the affordability in Portugal. Oh man, I've been to so many places. It feels like such a gift to be able to do this and have this experience. I had to share it with you, so thanks for being a part of it. And this is the goodbye. Tenerife, in Europe, in Spain, all of it. It's been fun. Thanks. Bye Tenerife. Bye Europe. Bye Spain. Bye side of the world. Oh man. Yeah, it's 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 surreal. This is a moment. I realize I've been out here this long <laughs> for what? And I'm leaving this part of the world. It's it's a trek to get out of here. So I won't be back in the US for a while. I don't hate it. I'm not mad about it. But uh, it's just it's surreal. It's like I came so far and I was here so long. And we're gonna be going so far yet again tonight. Going back to football, going back to uh, Saturday Night Football, we're going back to burgers and fries. <laughs> we're going back to Walmart. Oh yeah, baby, Walmart. All right. And that store makes me think of Spar right there. Saying goodbye to our Spars, even though it's probably not a Spar, some sort of gas station. Look at this beautiful mountain view as we sail away from it. Oh, wow, what a great way to end it with Tenerife. Just sailing away at the sunset hour, dusk hour. I love it. And it's leaving Europe for practically last time, uh, almost guaranteed last time in 2023. I can almost guarantee that. Um, by the time you see this video, it'll probably already not even be 2023. So the chances that I get back here in a couple of weeks are extremely unlikely. Uh, so that's been it for 2023. What a year, what a blast. So as we turn away here from the beautiful island, you can see more mountain in front. See this little pier sticking out. And uh, yeah, it's very rocky, not a whole lot going on over here. And I'm just beginning to notice, because we're turning away, to look to the other side. Wow, would you look at that city front on that side? I almost feel like I should switch. Let's we'll see if we can make our way over there. Just for me to enjoy a bit more of it as we go. <laughs> it's been fun though, Henry, it really has, so thank you. Even just for the, the brief tour and the views and the appreciating a new part of Spain and of Europe. Here you go for a quick video out the other side. We'll get some pictures here myself as well. The city front of Tenerife. Love to see it too. Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Thanks for the time. And there goes our tender boat right there. See him sail away. So we look at the city one more time. That's that's the official sign. We're done. We're out. They don't need us no mo. We don't need them no mo. <laughs> Been nice. All right, y'all. It really is. Feels kind of surreal as I look at. <laughs> just saw that elevator move, so I thought you might want to see that. But surreal, leaving Europe, leaving Tenerife. Six days on the ocean, longest I've ever spent at sea coming up. You can see ahead, nothing. <laughs> so if you're excited for that vlog, let me know in the comments. Keep your eyes open for it. Sail on away. Almost time for show and dinner. What a perfect time. I'm not even done with this. What a perfect time to watch the sail away, for us to sail away, with just a little bit of sun still peeking out. And then we've got the lights in the town, Tenerife. And you can see them fade into the distance. It's a little chilly. Like, I'd, I'd like to get my jacket and my sweatshirt. But, like, I want to see the end of this, you know? And then I'll go, uh, maybe grab my sweatshirt, maybe look at some shops, and make our way to the show and all that. But this is it. This is the end, last view of Europe for this trip. And it's been an amazing one. All right, we have reached the point now where the photos on my phone are giving me that two-second timer, you know, so it makes it lighter. So it's like uh, the brightness thing, you know? Uh, so that's your cue, you know? Sun is set, we're far enough away. There's a little peak at Tenerife in the distance. Wow. Interestingly enough, it seems like we're now straightening out a bit. 
almost going at like a straight up turn where the back is moving further and further that way. You practically have no view remaining on that side. And here is all your action now, all on our right, which makes sense to me, right? Because if we are on this side of the island uh, trying to go down, you just want to, you want the island to your right to head down because this is the, uh, the east side of the island. Makes sense, I think. <laughs> all right, y'all, look at that beautiful view. Again, behind us, of the uh, Medina. No, not Medina, Tenerife. I'm heading to the ra restroom. I've tried a few at this point. Uh, the one where the restaurant's in clean, uh, uh, full, the one upstairs is cleaning, so we're gonna try this one over here. I'm gonna get myself my coffee and then head down to the shop. One more look. I swear I'm heading downstairs to grab my stuff. Well, here it is. Tenerife, sailing away. It's been fun. Thanks, Tenerife. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to make my way. This was Golden, the jazz bar, which was nice to hear. Um, I'm still trying to get to the show. It's a magic show tonight, so I might not love it, but it's worth at least taking a peek, so we'll see. Here we are with this beautiful bar here around us as well. Uh, almost to the theater. Nice to see. Maybe this is the black and white, actually. Oh, it's La Luna. This one's La Luna piano bar, so get to know your ship. I guess I got time now.
credits there's no like fake smoke or anything like that so i like that and you had uh some great he did some hand uh, uh shadowy illuminations at the end there uh magic tricks like a floating table got kids involved accidentally or intentionally so it was nice all around glad we checked it out here you have i'm gonna look for reception if i can and then i'm gonna go for dinner Oh, right. I like the snowman here at reception as well. We've got a couple of things sorted, and we'll make our way to dinner. All right, you have the fritters here. Corn fritters, recommended by the waiter. I think I also got a salad, because vegetables. All right, Mom? Vegetables. I got them coming. <laughs> but here's the corn fritters. Let's enjoy. Got to give them some credit on these corn fritters. Really, really nice the flavor to that one. Good recommendation. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. This is the seafood salad. I figured it was a little bit more veggie in it. But you know what? It's fish. I like fish, so let's do it. And recommendation from the waiter as well, the meatballs. I was looking at something else. I don't remember what it was at this point. Uh, so we'll see how the meatballs are. Hopefully they're good. So in my opinion, meatballs are all right. I really like the first appetizer. The second one was pretty decent. These are, I'd probably skip these in the future, quite honestly. It's just very hard kind of meatballs. All right, we have our banana bread and butter pudding with our tulip shaped uh, ice cream here. Or Volcano Honoring, I like that. Volcano Honoring ice cream here. Uh, it's a funny shape to it. We'll see how it is. Take a look at this birthday cake. Friend celebrating their birthday, kind enough to share that with us. Let's see how it is. So, a dessert was nice as well. Nice variety of items there. Uh, we had that birthday cake, which was nice. Nice uh, vanilla -y, uh, buttercream style flavor. Nice, nice variety in that. And then the banana bread pudding was pretty nice too. I'd probably get more ice cream with it. Gonna soak that up, but solid dessert. So overall, pretty good, pretty good dinner. I gotta give it to him. Didn't love the meatballs, but uh, not a bad evening for it. Thanks so much for helping me make it an amazing day today. Don't forget to hit, make your day an amazing day. Hit that thumbs up button because you liked it. Subscribe for more, and until next time, play on.